Welcome, I'm Perry Patterson, and it's okay to be green. Today we're going to talk about the installation of solar gable fans. Look up above, on top of many garages, you'll see an opening into the gable roof. A lot of heat is gathered up inside that roof. One of the things that we can do is put a fan up inside the roof. It'll blow out the heat and help reduce energy bills. By using a solar panel um, fan, it actually will cost us nothing in electricity. The fan we can get and have a six-month payback if we can save just $30 a month on energy bills. That's a great payback, great savings, and a great product brought to you by BrightWatts. I'm going to show you how easy it is to put the solar fan together, and then we're going to take it up into the attic and actually do the installation. Now, some of that installation, I don't know how well it will be on camera, but you can see we've got a nice little fan. It comes right out of the box. You can see it's just the exact same size as, up, as there. Now, I'm going to set this down, and inside, believe it or not, it's real small, but it's actually quite nice. A solar panel. Now this panel is actually going to provide all the energy we need to get this fan going. We have a very long cord here, I believe it's about 20 feet. Um, and we're going to hook it up and I'm going to show you how easy it is to turn solar panel or solar power into electricity that is going to save us a lot of um, energy in our home and make our home more comfortable. see how easy it is. Now, I'm just going to set this here. The solar panel is here, getting some nice direct sunlight. Here's the plug. Excuse me while I put my glasses on. And make sure you do positive to positive. Negative to negative, very clearly marked. Look at that. As soon as I plug it in. Look at that. Is that the coolest thing? Pure solar power. I've got no electricity at all. All we've got to do is take this upstairs. We'll put it in. This will be the back side. It's going to pull in the air, and you can just feel the air pumping right out. One solar panel, pure sunlight, and boom, we've got electricity, we've got fans, and we're going to be able to cool our home down for free. Just the cost of the fan and the panel. Pretty cool. One of the first things you have to do is go and get the fan prepared for going up in the attic. They give you four these little panels and the screws, as you can see, you've already installed three of them. Very simply, you just take them, you'll line up the holes with the screw and the bolt, put them in, and that way, instead of working up in the hot attic, you're going to actually have this all set. Very simple. Definitely make sure before you start any project, grab the instructions and actually read through them. It only takes a few minutes, and you can see how very easy that step is. Hi, I'm up in the attic now, and it's actually quite warm up here. This is why we're doing the whole fan, so we can get some of the heat pulled out of the attic, which is actually ho hopefully going to cool down the house. Now, I've come up with an obstacle. I actually have a piece of plywood that we found is blocking access to the vent um, for the gable. So what I'm going to have to do is either uh, cut a hole here so I can mount the thing through, or just simply uh, mount it against this paneling after I cut a hole. Once I've done that, then I'm going to have to take the solar panel. I'll reach in from over the outside, push the cable in, and then stretch that cable across so I have a nice opening over there to actually get the uh, solar panel cable hooked up to the fan. Trick now is getting my hold cut. The next thing we have to do is do the mountings on the solar panel. Again, I've actually mounted three of them in advance. It's pretty easy. Take a little mounting piece, screws, there's no nuts on this one. We'll just screw each of them in, and it'll be ready for the roof mount. Now, if you have a shingle roof, from that point, these are going to screw right in. It's going to be beautiful. 
I have a barrel tile roof. Just like I had a problem in the attic trying to get to my gable hole, looks like I'm going to have another problem I've got to tackle going on to the roof. Our next step is we're going to have to hook up the solar panel to the fan. Now, there's an opening in the vent here, and it's actually at quite a short distance straight up to where the fan is. So what I'm going to do is pop a little hole through here, poke this through, then I'm going to have to crawl into the attic and carefully pull it out. When I'm done, I'll be able to string the cable along here, and my goal is either to hang the solar panel on the side and see if it gets enough light, or I'll be putting it on top of the roof, which is going to be a little harder since it's a barrel tile roof. So I'm still kind of deciding how the best way to do that, but at least I want to test the fan and make sure everything's good. I've got it hooked up inside, and I'll show you the work that I did up there. Okay, I've taken the panel, we've mounted it onto the roof. Okay, taken the pads, they're in. I put a little um, roof um, glue on top, holding it down. The cable's here. Now one of the things very important is I've also taken the cable, and I've taken it all the way along, fastened it down so it won't get blown away. Uh, or pulled out. Now, the other thing is, real quick, you can see I've pulled the cables all the way through and around. They come under, and most houses have little vents underneath. Push it right through, and then up in the attic, we'll pull it along and plug it into the fan. Okay, now we're up in the attic. You can see the light coming out of the vent over there. That's where we've strung the cable. And we strung the cable along real loosely, and now we're over at the fan. Okay, so we're all set here. Again, we're watching to make sure we have positive, positive, negative, negative. What we're going to do now is go ahead, cross our fingers, plug it in. Look at that. And away we go. So what it's going to do now is pull. This works through the day. The sun's going. It's going to pull it out. Now, you may recall from earlier, we had a, a decision to make, and I know I kind of jumped around here. Um, we hit this paneling, which was blocking our vent hole. So what I did is just took a simple jigsaw, cut a hole around, but I lined it up. I circled the fan, but then I made sure I cut inside the light, or inside the line, so that it would not be a problem. Mounted it, screws were provided, went in very easy. They even recommend it go into a piece of paneling, and so it's all set. So right now, the vent hole is right outside there, and the fan's going. And you can hear it picking up speed. It must be getting some more a uh, burst of light. It's pretty actually dark day outside, but it's still working pretty good. So as it gets sunnier, it'll pull. Look at that. It'll pull out the heat. Very nice. And it's for free. Doesn't cost me anything. Well, the project's done. Solar panels on the roof. We've installed the fan behind the gable opening. And as we speak, the sun is hitting our panel and we're blowing hot air out of our attic. Fantastic. Last thing to remember. Send in your warranty card to the manufacturer. And also, a lot of there are a lot of incentives right now from the government. Uh, with tax incentives and other programs where you can actually save some money by installing some solar products. Please check online, including at OK to be Green, for some helpful information. You should also check with your tax consultant. Thanks again, and remember, I'm Perry Patterson, and it's always OK to be Green.